Hi everyone, uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, another vlog which is about uh, the latest movie which is in cinemas right now, thankfully in Jeddah. Uh, and as we say that uh, finally we have uh, a cinema in Jeddah that's showing all our favorite movies, the ones we are excited for. Uh, not to be complaining, as we say over here locally, alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. Be thankful uh, always and in that respect. Uh, my only, uh, the, the reason I'm doing this blog is to basically, hi, uh, you know, take off the hype from the Captain Marvel movie, whereby it is only being centered around uh, first Marvel super he female superhero movie in the cinematic universe and with all this hyped up uh, politically sensitive climate that we have these days concerning gender equality, diversity, ethnicities and all that. So because this movie is offering us way more than that. Uh, yes, it's a very good uh, thing to finally see a female Marvel female superhero standalone movie and especially someone who is going to be playing a significant role within uh, Avengers Endgame and possibly phase four of uh, Marvel Universe. So uh, through this vlog, what I intend to do is I want to just guide you through what to look for within the movie. I haven't watched the movie myself yet, but based on the trailer and all, and because I've been reading uh, these comics uh, since for the more than 30 years now. So there are a lot of things which I think uh, you guys are gonna find it quite exciting about this movie and the impact that it's gonna be having in the future. So first thing, first and foremost, is that what I'm really glad about this movie from the trailers is that it's not 100%, but it's taking its inspiration from one of the best graphic novels, uh, one of the best storylines, which was written by Roy Thomas, uh, beautifully illustrated by Neil Adams and John Bushima. And uh, the thing is that uh, what, what we find here is that the, the plot is almost uh, what we have been expecting within the movie, that Earth is caught up between uh, a looming war between the Kree Empire and the Skrull world. Uh, so Skrulls for me are my most favorite uh, uh, alien shape-shifting uh, uh, creatures or species because uh, they have been involved in a lot of sinister plots within the Marvel Universe. Uh, they were introduced first time uh, in Fantastic Four, one of the earlier issues, I think it was issue number three. Uh, and uh, later on, uh, the best minds in Marvel realized their potential that we needed to use them for other storylines, for other superhero uh, families as well, not just restrict them for Fantastic Four. So first of all, it's the Kree Skrull War, which I would highly recommend you guys to read. The reason being is that even though this was written and uh, published in the late 60s, early 70s, uh, this formed the foundation for a huge uh, arc that would uh, be thought up by uh, Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, I'm sure you know him, the guy who co-created Miles Morales, who created Jessica Jones, uh, because he had his eight year arc when he had joined Marvel, which started from uh, a storyline called uh, uh, Avengers Disassembled, followed by Secret War, and then it moved on to one of my most favorite uh, crossovers in Marvel uh, publishing history, which is Secret Invasion, in which Skrulls uh, play a very important role in that respect. So while you're out watching the movie, uh, and you, I hope you guys enjoy it because the kind of reviews I'm hearing from some of my friends and family who are into this sort of stuff, I'm getting a lot of uh, positive vibes concerning that. But what I w would recommend you guys is that to do start out with uh, the reading material as well because that's gonna really blow your mind away. Uh, and then at the same time, what you're gonna do is that when you start reading and when you start going through all the materials, subsequent materials, which are not uh, per se the Kree Skrull War or the Secret Invasion, uh, but what you're gonna realize is that uh, this character who is now Captain Marvel, uh, Carol Danvers, she started out as a supporting character who was not a superheroine or what or any kind of a superpowered entity, and then she became uh, 
Miss Marvel. Uh, she had another name called Warbird uh, because this is the costume uh, that she used to don as Miss Marvel. And when she, but this is not the original one. Uh, the original one was the was the one with the red and blue tights uh, that uh, which was created co-created. Uh, by I think it was Sal Bashema and uh, Gary Conway, uh, the issue that came out in 1977. So th this was a later uh, variant of her costume, which was late 70s, early 80s. And uh, this was more to be known as Warbird. Uh, for those of you who know the X-Men character Rogue, her, her powers like uh, uh, super speed, flight, uh power and all uh, uh all of it she basically absorbed that from carol danvers because her mutant powers happen to happens to be that she can absorb powers of other beings so you know this is how much important this character is but one thing that a lot of people do not know is like for example peter parker was uh from day one uh, associated with Spider-Man. Carol Danvers was not the case. Carol Danvers, as if you go through the Kree Skrull War saga, and then you subsequently move on to the late 70s, uh, up till the late 70s, she was just a supporting character who was working in the United States Air Force. And before her, basically, uh, 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 the lady who donned uh, the costume for Captain Marvel happened to be her best friend, Monica Rambeau. Uh, she became Captain Marvel within the Marvel publishing universe very late into the 21st century. Otherwise, she had been just Miss Marvel. But she has evolved over the years. And one of the things that I really like about her is the fact that not only she is one of uh, a very, uh, she's one of the best members of the Avengers, but also her fights with the, the Skrulls. Here's my action figure of the Super Skrull. And, uh, you know, she, she ha has had one of the best episodes uh, within the pub uh, Marvel's publishing side of things. But... Uh, to sum it all up, what I as I've said that uh, when you have done watching this movie, please make sure that you pick up a copy of Kree Skrull War, uh, and then you start reading other uh, trade paperbacks, uh, the Captain Marvel collection as well, which in which which doesn't involve Carol Danvers as is the main character or Monica Rambeau, but all uh, the the original Captain Marvel who whose real name was Marvel. Uh, you keep going through that and you land all the way to Secret Invasion. And believe me, you're going to be really thankful that I uh, uh, advised you on this one. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know of your views. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good evening.